Get ready with me to go to my friend's birthday dinner. I have about an hour and like 10-ish, 15 minutes to get ready. We're going to XOXO Diner, Dinner, Diner, Dining? <laughs> What is this place called? XOXO Dining Room in Dallas. I've actually never been, but it looks super cute and I've seen lots of pictures on Instagram. It's very like a girly pink aesthetic type vibes. Um, I don't really know what I'm wearing. I have a couple of options in mind. I'm going to do my makeup, hair, and then outfit is usually the order that I get ready. A little bit of moisturizer from The Ordinary. This friend that I'm going um, for her birthday, I've known her for about 13 years. I met her my freshman year of high school running track. Um, we were in track together in high school. We also did like a club track together and then we also went to college together. So we've been friends for almost half of my life, which is crazy. So I'm super excited to go celebrate. I recently got this e.l.f. liquid halo glow liquid filter and I've only tried it once. I actually really liked it, but I didn't put a lot of it on. Oh, primer. I need to do my primer first. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. power grip primer. Oh, I was taking a nap, but I woke up early. <laughs> this stuff is really sticky and I love the way it feels. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry down for like a minute. I normally listen to music while I get ready. I have my little speaker here, but since I'm filming, I don't want to get copyright, so we're getting ready in silence. <laughs> don't know if slash how much I'm going to be drinking tonight, so I always like to drink water while I'm getting ready and also just throughout the day. When I tried this the first time, it made my skin so glowy i'm gonna go in with i don't even know where this brush is from it's just a brush that looks like this just to i think it's um sonia kushik from target i have like a little scab from picking at a pimple so i'm gonna a little more on that. My skin is so glowy. I am going to put setting powder on later because I want to look glowy but not like greasy and shiny. Um, I naturally have pretty oily skin so combined with this it is extra glowy. Next I have my e.l.f. 16 camo concealer. This is a matte concealer and oh I should tell you guys shades. Um, in the foundation, I'm shade 5, medium tan, and then in the concealer, I got medium beige. I I don't know. I don't put a lot of concealer on because I feel like even if I set it, my eyes always crease. So I'm just like dabbing a little bit. And I'm going to use my puff. Setting powder is also from that same e.l.f. Halo Glow in the shade Medium. I um, love the packaging of this because it has a little twisty thing so that it doesn't like spill everywhere when it's in your makeup bag or when you're not using it. So I'm going to shake out a little bit. legs are so sore. I think I'm going to sit on the counter. I went to the gym earlier and I used to lift weights a lot but since I started running the past couple years I barely lift weights so when I lift like bare minimum weights like barely even the bar I'm sore for days. Um, so we're going to go. What blush should I use? So my normal blush is this Rare Beauty. I've been using this for like two years and still on my first bottle, but it's kind of starting to run out. Um, I did get a blush from e.l.f. Hmm. But this Rare Beauty is just uh, so good. I think I'm going to use the Rare Beauty and see how much I can get out. This is the shade Love. 
there's not a lot left but this stuff is so pigmented <laughs> do i od on blush yes but i honestly don't care I don't do like highlight or I don't do eyeliner or like really anything like blush is my thing <laughs> I'm gonna just dab a little bit of powder blush over wet and wild in the shade mellow one ah, not <laughs> the stuff breaking off on you can never have too much blush Also, when you're like out and about, blush is the first thing that comes off. So I feel like even though I put a lot on, it ends up looking more subtle later. It looks crazy, but trust the process. <laughs> Gonna do a little bit more setting powder. Next for brows is also e.l.f. I really honestly don't do a whole lot with the brows just really gently fill them in and then this is the brow wow to kind of stick them down that's pretty much it so this one's done this one's not just a little bit of fill and slick down I'm going to do a little bit of bronzer as eyeshadow. I've had this palette forever. It's from Morphe Brontour. Um, I don't even know if they sell this anymore, but I'm just going to take like a little bit of both. Like there's a shimmery one and then just a contour one. And I kind of just brush that across the entire lid. Gonna take a little bit of this Wet n Wild conceal stick to put like on the inner eyelid part. Okay, the blush is looking a little bit crazy, so I'm gonna take a like plain brush and kind of blend it more. it is giving clown just a little bit that's pretty much it for the face i'm gonna do mascara lipstick and that is it i don't do falsies highlight anything like that anymore um so let me find my mascara this is the l'oreal telescopic before after One last dab of some setting powder because my forehead is a little bit oily. Okay, makeup is done. I am going to do lipstick, but put that on after I do my hair and pick out my outfit. So let me show you guys what the outfit options are. Okay, outfit options. One, this green dress but i wanted to wear red lipstick and i feel like the red and green are not going to be cute together option two um is this it's kind of hard to tell what it is i'll put a picture on the screen this orange dress or i'm thinking this corset top with this skirt i haven't worn yet it's a long like maxi denim skirt but you can make it like a higher slit put it to the side i'm kind of leaning towards denim and the corset because these colors might kind of clash with the red lipstick um let me try this on and see how i feel about it okay we had to go into the bedroom for this um here's the outfit so this top is not supposed to be strapless but the first time i wore this somehow i broke one of the straps so i tore the other one off to just make it even <laughs> Um, I don't know. I feel like the top does feel kind of weird because it's supposed to have like straps pulling it up. And then I don't know if the denim skirt is cute, if it's giving, or if it looks like <laughs> kind of, I don't know, too... I don't, know what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, but I don't know if the skirt is doing what I want it to do. So here's outfit number one. 
and I am gonna wear heels. I don't know which ones yet. Okay, here's outfit number two. I think I'm probably gonna go with this one. This orange dress just never fails me. It's from Shein. Um, the only thing is I feel like it looks good from the front, but from the side, the side is not looking too good. The back has this little slit too, but I mean, it is what it is. I think I am going to wear this. It's super comfy and stretchy, and I think it looks better than the other outfits. So I think we're going to go with orange dress. Okay, let's get jewelry. My counter is a mess. Not really a necklace person, but I just got these, like a couple of layered necklaces from Amazon. I don't know. I feel like necklaces bother me and it annoys me when the thing like moves around and they're not on straight. Should I even do a necklace? I can never put these on with nails. I don't like it. I'd like it more if it was like a choker. If it was like this. I think I saw this hack on TikTok to use like eyelash glue to keep your necklace in place. Maybe I should try that. Oh, but it might get stuck in my hair. Hmm. Do I even have eyelash glue? Because I don't wear lashes, but I think I bought it once. I got it for something. I could use nail glue, but I feel like oh, it's gonna get caught in my hair. I definitely don't have eyelash glue. Oh, let me check one more time before I use this nail glue because actually I bought eyelash glue last year um, when I went to the Bad Bunny concert to stick on like little crystals. <laughs> I'm gonna take a dab. Just a little, little dabby dab. Let me make sure it doesn't get caught in my hair to keep this necklace in place. Or maybe I should just glue it on this front part. <gasps> this is so stupid. Oh, it's not even sticking. <gasps> this is not working. It's just sticking to my finger. Okay, wait, I think I got it. The necklace is stuck. Okay, that's done. Eyelash glue. I'm gonna do just simple earrings. These little like gold rectangle hoops because I'm doing red lipstick. So I'm gonna keep everything else simple because the lips are gonna be like the bold moment. Um, so I'm gonna do earring. <gasps> I'm so happy this necklace is not gonna move. Also, while I was getting dressed, I realized that I kept putting more and more setting powder because my skin was like oily and shiny, but this is Halo Glow setting powder, so it was adding the shine on top of it. So usually I do a matte setting powder, but we're just going to stick with the glowy, greasy, oily look for today. And then on my top earring hole, I'm just going to put some studs. I just got some more from Target. <laughs> Okay, music pause. Um, the hair, I'm honestly not doing anything with it. <laughs> Let me see how it looks because it's been up since I got back from the gym a few hours ago. Um, hmm. Okay, the hair I'm going to leave. I'm just going to put it down in like a low scrunchy ponytail to kind of let gravity um stretch it back down because it was up in that little twisty for a while i always bring a hair clip with me when i go out because in case the hair gets crazy i can just put it up in a clip and it's almost time to go so i'm gonna go ahead and do the lip i just bought this new one today i all my lipsticks are like years old and some of them are starting to get crusty and probably need to get thrown away I love a good red lip, so I got this one, um, this ColourPop Lippy Stick. I think they changed their packaging. It's been a while since I've bought another one. This is the shade Trust Me. It's a matte lipstick. Um, I don't really do lip liner. I'm just going to freestyle it. Or should I do a lip liner? Actually, I think I do have a red. I'm going to use this one from the lip bar. 
I think I've had this for over a year in the shade Straight Boss. And I put some Aquaphor on my lips. I'm going to rub it off so it's not picking up the lipstick. The color's super pretty. I kept messing up on my Cupid's bow, so I had to kind of fix it up. Red lip with the orange dress. I think it's super cute. Hopefully it actually is matte and stays on. Okay, I'm almost ready. Um, oh, let me go pick out my shoes that I'm wearing. I'm gonna wear heels, which I usually don't, but we're going to a nice place. Want to look cute, take pictures, etc. <laughs> okay, we're gonna bust out these shoes. These are from Target, a new day, just very simple heels. I am probably like five foot nine. These are like three inch heels, so I'm gonna be like almost six feet tall, but we're gonna have a moment. Um, I did my toes earlier today. I got press on toes. I'm in my press on era right now. My nails are press ons too because I'm kind of lazy, too lazy to do them. And then for perfume, almost out. There's like a dab left. Um, this one right now is my favorite focus. There it is. This one right here is from Philosophy Amazing Grace Ballet Rose. I'm gonna spray that on bag. Um, I'm wearing black shoes, so I'm just gonna keep it very. Oh, but I have to bring my Polaroid. Um, I want to bring this bag, but why did I just find the strap that I was looking for? Oh my gosh. Okay, in my Italy trip, I needed this strap for a bag and couldn't find it. Wow. Okay, it was right there the whole time. I think I'm going to do this bag and maybe just carry the Polaroid. Um, but I'm going to listen to some music, clean up the mess, and I'll be back and show you guys the final look. I'm going to leave in the next, like, ten-ish minutes. <laughs> Circa 2016, I still have this palette. Final look, hair is just down and crazy. Um, I'm ready to go. I'm so hungry, ready to eat. I have about a 45, 50 minute drive to get there. And then in Dallas, the parking situation is always hectic so in my bag all i'm bringing is my lip liner lipstick i'm gonna do a little tiny hair clip i'm gonna bring this compact powder just in case i need to touch up my makeup i also always i always bring just a little mini dove spray deodorant because you never know if you need to freshen up and then i just throw everything in here um, I'm going to hold my Polaroid and see if someone has a bigger purse I can keep it in, but thanks for getting ready with me. See you guys in the next video. Bye!